Okay, so it's all together here. Um, you know, really only first time putting it together maybe took, what, a minute? So it's really not too bad. So what I'd like to do, this is the setup. Cleaning up was only maybe five minutes to take everything apart, put it back together. What I'd like to do now is uh, to go ahead, get a recipe started, and just kind of test this unit out and see how it functions. So let's go ahead and get a simple recipe out and see how it does. Okay, well we are ready to start juicing. I have not even turned this on yet, so I have no idea what it sounds like. I've never used a juicer in my life, so I'm kind of excited to try this out. So let's go ahead and flick it on. So that turned on this main display up front here, and it's flashing a one, which is the speed setting. And so why don't we start off at two and just see what that does for us. just a little bit. It smells really good. Try dumping a little bit more in and see how that works. So we'll try it out on the highest setting just to see what it sounds like. So that's on the highest setting. It's really not all that loud. Let's see what the pulse mode sounds like. Alright, so we'll shut it down. So basically the pulse mode is just as you hold the button down, it'll pulse up to the number four setting. So if you need a quick burst of power, but you don't want to keep it at a four, you would hit that pulse button there. So initial impressions here is that it is actually pretty quiet. I mean, you wouldn't want to run this when a baby's sleeping or anything like that, but it's not, uh, not real obtrusive at all. And so I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I'm also surprised at how smooth it is. So, this thing wasn't bouncing around once I got everything figured out. It, uh, it worked like a charm. And actually this looks really good and smells really good. One thing to notice when I was cleaning this up is actually this is easy to take apart. It's very self-explanatory as to how it goes back together. I mean, I didn't read the instructions at all. Just threw it back together and had no problems. So let's go ahead and give this a stir. And we'll just see how we did. It smells really good, so show you the finished result. It's right there. It's actually a nice looking color to it. And let's see what the pulp side looks like. Okay, actually the pulp side is very dry. I'm actually quite impressed. So hopefully you can see in there. Uh, to me, I watched quite a few videos on these before getting this unit, and this looks right in line with what I was seeing you know, on the more expensive units. So it might have something to do with juicing it at a lower speed and letting it take its time um, as it's kind of pulling the nutrients out and then leaving all the fiber basically behind. So. I'm very impressed with it. I mean, the build quality is fantastic. Like I said, this stainless on here will not look out of place with your higher end appliances at all. Um, the finish is just excellent. It's very, very easy to just crack it open and start using it without reading instructions even, just kind of throwing it together and, and having some fun. So, very impressed. Um, like I say, cleanup probably takes you 5-10 minutes tops, which is one thing I was kind of concerned about. and you know, very, very happy with how this, this looks and how it functions. 
So of course the next step here is going to be is to put this into a mason jar and see what we've got here. So it actually, it smells fantastic. Yeah, that's really good. That is really good. So, yep, yeah, I would, uh, I'd highly recommend it. Go ahead and pick one up. I'll put a link below as to where you can get this unit from. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe.